Devil in Ohio is Netflix's latest thriller, and its creepy story is bound to get you hooked. The eight-episode series is based on the book of the same name by Daria Politan, starring Emily Deschanel as Dr. Suzanne Mathis. Suzanne is a hospital psychiatrist who becomes obsessed with a case when a teenager named Mae Dodd shows up with a seriously intense scar on her back in the shape of a pentagram. As we find out, Mae escaped from a mysterious cult about a town over in a place called Amontown, and because she was marked, her people want her back. But how far will they go to bring her home, and will Suzanne and her family be able to protect her? We deserve it. Only one way to find out. The show is now streaming on Netflix. If you've already started binging through the addictive series and are curious about its fate, here's what we know about a potential devil in Ohio season 2. The most recent thriller on Netflix is called Devil in Ohio, and anyone who has already binged all eight episodes of the show will know that it had a very dramatic conclusion. In the show, a psychiatrist takes in a young girl who has fled from a cult, endangering her family in the process. Fans are eager to see whether the program has been renewed for series two, but there are still many loose ends from season one that need to be resolved. So, will there be a second season of Devil in Ohio? Feels like going to the dentist, but, you know, good to do the work. Will there be a season two of Devil in Ohio? With the first series ending on such a cliffhanger, fans will be wondering if there will be a second series of the Netflix show. However, the streaming giant has yet to confirm things either way, so we can't know for sure yet. The show was labeled as a limited series, which technically means that it was supposed to run for just one season, but that's not always the case, as if the show does well, it could be renewed for another season. The first season also ended on a cliffhanger with the fates of May and Mathis still to be revealed, so there is definitely enough to work with in terms of storyline if the show was to come back. If the announcement of the show's renewal is made soon, we could expect it to return to screens by the autumn of 2023. As a season 2 trailer hasn't been released yet, we haven't had much of a preview of what could happen in a new series. I just want to say that uh, this year... At this time, we wouldn't bank on Devil in Ohio season 2 happening simply because it was planned as a limited series, but we'll be on the lookout for any renewal or cancellation news. The premise has everything you'd expect. With a few minor twists along the way, Devil in Ohio is a relatively predictable limited series that will just stimulate the brain. The horror moments are a little too soft for what it is worth, and the twists are predictable. Propping the series up is the teen drama tropes. While the trailer and initial premise would like you to think that this is a serious horror, it has that you feel as the daughter of Suzanne, Jules Mathis, played by Zaria Dotson becomes significantly involved with her personal life at school, coupled with May seemingly affecting her social life. That's not to say that the supporting characters are not interesting, but something is amiss. Scenes with Suzanne and May are far more interesting than the encroaching cult and the woes of the other characters. Scenes showing how May's presence impacts their lives are equally as interesting. When Devil in Ohio focuses on the subplots, it feels like a formulated Netflix adaptation. The series feels like it had more promise than what it was selling. Without familiarity with the book, it's hard to make a clear judgment, but the genericness makes it a surface-level experience, dogged in intriguing mysteries. The series makes you feel like you will experience a story like Servant, but instead, you get a run of a Miller thriller horror. But, confusingly, it's worth the punt. And he abandoned me! So please, Jules! Devil in Ohio is not for the trash can, and there is plenty here to enjoy in the performances, even if the characters could do with more depth. Netflix has put a lot of money into its limited series, but this is not the best of the bunch.